Southern Kaduna boys again as Fulani militia burned down houses and set two persons ablaze. Barely 72 hours after a peace summit recommended immediate ceasefire over killings in Southern Kaduna, suspected Fulani militia attacked a community in Zango Kataf, local government area of the region, killing two persons and torched several houses. As part of efforts at restoring peace to Southern Kaduna, the National Christian Pilgrims Commission NCPC, in collaboration with other interfaith groups and friends of Southern Kaduna, had organized a three day peace summit held at Throne Room, Kafanchan, Jema local government area of Kaduna State, penultimate on Thursday, which strongly recommended immediate cease of killings, attacks, kidnappings, and rustling to end unrest in the area. However, in a statement on Friday by the National Public Relations Officer of Southern Kaduna People's Union, Sokapo, Mr. Luca Biniyat said large number of gunmen suspected to be Fulani militia invaded Mayimashin village in the earlier hours of Friday and cutted away valuables as well. The statement added that the two persons were burned to ashes in their homes, pointing out that the month of September has been bloody in the area. Early this morning, 11 September 2020, Manyimanshin village in Zamandabu ward in Antiab, Chipdom, Zangon Katav local government area in Southern Kaduna was invaded by hordes of Fulani armed men who burned down almost all the houses in the village, looting and cutting away valuables. Two persons were burned in their homes beyond recognition. They are Cecilia in Shire, 62, a widow and mother of six children, and Ilya Sunday, 56, who left behind eight children. The men of Operation Save Heaven promptly responded. The military fled before their arrival. This was after Fulani military on the 8th September 2020 lay ambush for three anti ab youths from Atankwamai on O in Sim, Zamandobu Ward in anti ab chiefdom as they went to clear weed in their sugarcane farm about a kilometer from their village. Suddenly, armed headsmen came from hidden and struck. They descended on them with daggers and machets. Anthony Magaji, 25, a final year HND student with Nuhu Bamali Polytechnic, Zaria, was hacked down. They axed his neck and head with macabre wounds and killed him instantly. Isaac Thomas, 24, also an OND student of the same school, managed to escape with life-threatening injuries and is now under intensive care in the hospital, while the third escaped with less injury. Thank you for listening to this news. These Fulani militias, headsmen, jihadists, bandits, name them, I see, in fact, the federal government need to have a serious meeting concerning their issue because they are becoming nuisance to the country. They are becoming a thorn to the flesh of the people. For crying out loud, people no longer sleep peacefully. People now sleep with their two eyes open. People now walk with fear, you can imagine. Eh? So this country can no longer be at peace just because of these people. Is it a crime to have a Fulani man as a president? Is it a crime? They are actually taking advantage of their of their of of of, their, of this administration. They are seriously taking advantage of the of the administration. And the president Mohamed Buhari supposed to know his people better and start doing something 
with immediate effect. Eh? These people are, are reducing Nigerians in number. They are reducing Nigerians in number, killing innocent people. Imagine. See what they just did in this in this in this village, burning two people into ashes, burning them alive, burning houses, and go and and and, and um, going away with valuables. Is this oh god? For how long are we going to continue in this way? For how long? For how long are we going to um, to be enduring this this terrorist group? Look at Milafia, because he, he has chosen to speak up the truth, to tell the truth concerning the person behind this this heinous crime. Eh? Now they are now they are now after his life. Tell me, tell me for how long? The president, I expected him to take up a serious action on this issue. I expected him to take it up with seriousness and bring all of these perpetrators to book. All these people that have been that has been against against the innocent citizens of this country. See, if something is not done done concerning this issue, I tell you, Nigeria will divide in no time. Look at now, Nigeria is taken as number three in the most terrorizing country in Africa. No, the, number three in the most terrorizing. Um, country in the world. Why number one as the most terrorizing country in Africa? Hapa. And nothing is being done concerning that. Nothing is totally wrong. Completely wrong. Eh? My viewers, we really need to stand up and and speak up because if we don't, this will continue and Nigerians Will be reducing in numbers and why these people will continue to extort from us so my viewers what is your take on this what's your take please do well to leave your comment below the comment box click on the subscription button as well as bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you